quick hitters, smash mouth, hit you in the face. Welcome, Fantasy Affair, anywhere you are, go out and subscribe. Join the club. We're here for you. Tonight, we're giving you this much so we can bring you back for more. But I can't do it by myself because we're talking Mike Boone, baby. We're talking Denver backfield. And I got the guy who makes all this madness meet the man. And that's Mike. Mike, third and short, you make our videos. Welcome to the stream, baby. How we doing, buddy? Yeah, I'm doing great. Thank you so much for having me. Woo! I'm pumped. I got Mike, third and short. You know what I'm doing? I'm taking Mike Boone, Denver Broncos. I'm running it right down the gut for the first down, maybe a touchdown. Woo! Mike, dude. When I was thinking quick hitters, first off, you do these videos. As Wayne's World goes, we're not worthy. If you need somebody for videos, graphics, Mike is your man. Third and short on Twitter, number one in your life. But, dude, live stream, quick hitters, it's got to be Mike Boone, doesn't it? I saw your videos. I've seen your hype. You're the ultimate Mike Boone hype man. And now the situation is just perfect. So I want you to kind of fill in the audience running back Mike Boone. Hit us with it, baby. Yeah, man. Uh, first of all, thank you for having me so much. Um, I don't know why you said you're going to give him this much, though, because we're talking Mike Boone. It's, uh, it's a lot more than that. We're uh, we're talking a dude who should be hyped in a lot more leagues right now who you can get for almost nothing. Uh, we're talking about a guy who wasn't given a lot of opportunities but worked his way into a lot of opportunities starting in college, uh, in his rookie year in college. He led his team in rushing yards because he was forced into the situation. Uh, when given the opportunity, he's shown up. Now, he didn't have the best college team, so the scouts didn't really pay a lot of attention to him. He didn't get an invite to the combine. However, if you look at his pro day numbers, there's only one running back who has done more than him who was over 200 pounds, and that was Jarek McKinnon. Not even Reggie Bush came close to the numbers that Mike Boone put up. So, again, when given the opportunity, he's shown up every single time. Uh, now, yeah, he goes undrafted, um, Minnesota Vikings. Unfortunately, it's a loaded running back room. He's not given a lot of opportunities to shine. However, right away in the preseason, he's shining again. Uh, he's leading the entire NFL in the preseason. Now, yeah, it's the preseason. It's not that big of a deal, but that's just one more piece of the puzzle. You put that on top of his pro day. You put that on top of what he showed you he can do in college. It's just one more piece of the puzzle. Then um, – Next year, he's not. He's leading the preseason again. He's given a little bit more opportunity. He has his highest rushing numbers of his career. Um, however, again, he's behind Madison, who's everybody perceives is better than him because of his draft capital. However, every time you look at him right next to each other on the field, it's Mike Boone showing up again. Um, now you got last year where he was used more in special teams role. They bring in uh, Amir Abdullah. They still have a loaded running back room. However, because he is a special teams god, he's, again, given opportunities. And every single time he's given those opportunities, he shines. Um, now, everybody's going to remember Mike Boone for that one, one fantasy game where everybody told you this is the moment. This is the Mike right. Boone moment. He's going to show up. And he, he didn't show up, unfortunately. But then again, the, the entire team didn't show up that game. So very next game, he's against the Chicago Bears, who – had a very, very good defense that year. Uh, they were a top defense and run defense in the league, and he absolutely demolished them. He absolutely went off in that game. And, yeah, it's one game, but that was his first ever start in the NFL. It's the Bears' I, defense, dude. That ain't absolutely. no joke. And the Bears were still in playoff contention at the time. Uh, they had still had their starters in. Yeah, it wasn't a throwaway game at the end of the season for the Bears. Um, and again, he, he went off, uh, 17 rushes, 148 yards and a touchdown. Um, that was the week that everybody said, Mike Boone, they, everybody said, Mike Boone's coming, Mike Boone's coming. Unfortunately, he came a week too late and it's unfortunate for a lot of people who had a lot riding on him. But if I'm being honest, well, if that's Mike hard Boone, with a plug and play, like you have somebody who sits on the bench for 16 weeks, whatever it is and you're in championship week, you're going to remember that a little bit more than your, you know, flex and rojo week three or something he busts in your face. So you got to think of it from a player standpoint too. Um, dude, so undrafted out of Cincinnati, but a do-it-all back, like you said, special teams. 
He was one of their best special teams players on top of just being kind of behind these other guys that had a lot of value to Minnesota. You draft a guy like Madison, you have Dalvin Cook locked up. It's hard for Mike Boone to make that big of an impact. It's a crowded backfield. But, Mike, when I started talking to you, man, I've seen the graphics. I've seen the Mike Boone love, but I'm still new to this social media game. I'm still new to Mike Boone. Not really. I've heard it forever. But the one thing that caught my eye, so he, we, we all know where he's at now. He's at Denver. But this was, this was a blessing. I'm going to let you guys watch it. Y'all tell me what you think. Yo, what's up? It's Alexander Madison running back from the Minnesota Vikings. This message is for third and short. I want to make sure that I just give you a shout out for your love and support, man. Uh, I'm, I'm here to remind you to draft Mike Boone. Uh, I'm just telling you right now, man. Mike Boone is on There's levels, you know, here. He's on here. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if you, you see the difference that I'm. I'm telling you, man, the league requested Mike Boone remains a backup to protect Christian McCaffrey's ego. And I'm going to drop the mic on that one. Skull Vikings, baby. Draft Mike Boone. That's a mile high salute, man. And that's a mic drop for Mike Short, third and short, baby. So we just saw Alexander Madison endorse this guy as a beast. But you know who's probably not going to be endorsing him? Uh oh, 29 year old old Melvin Gordon. Those days in San Diego aren't so sunny anymore, are they? You have a guy who disappointed on this big money contract. And you know, the one thing I noticed was they left the door open for Lindsay to contribute. So before I get, get too far into Denver, let's do a recap real quick 5.3 yards per carry. Amazing. 3.5 after contact, six over the last three seasons in the whole NFL. And then when he got those moments, three games start, 41 carries, 232 yards, and three touchdowns. That ain't no joke, Mike. What you've no. been preaching for a couple years is now at the forefront. We got a new general manager in the Broncos. They didn't make a bunch of splashes, but you know what they did? They gave Mike Boone a $3 million deal to come play second fiddle. So he's here. He's got the moment. You saw Lindsey getting 10 to 12 touches a game in the backfield. So there is opportunity for Mr. Boone, the show stealer. So I want to I want to get your thoughts as being so-called the backup to Melvin Gordon and just this backfield in general. Oh, absolutely. I mean, uh, the number one thing that's going to come to everybody's mind is we're talking Melvin Gordon versus an undrafted rookie. But uh, keep in mind, that's what Philip Lindsay was. And he outshined Melvin Gordon every single time he was on the field. I would go as far as to say if he was healthy, he would have had more touches than Melvin Gordon. Uh, Melvin Gordon missed several games. And uh, even when he was on the field, had at least three games where they gave him less than 10 carries. So uh, it, the writing's there for Mike Boone to get the touches and not only that, but I know the coaching staff has said they want to pass to running backs more. They want to get the ball to running backs more. And uh, I know Mike Boone hasn't had a lot of opportunities in that field. However, if you look at back in his college days, his last two seasons, he showed that he can be a receiving threat. He had over 20 catches in both of his last two years. Well, and that's um, what they've been missing in Denver. They were bottom 10 in pass catching. They did not produce like they were supposed to. For having this solid offensive line, we can make all the excuses in the world, but Melvin Gordon didn't show up like he should have. Lindsey didn't. So they bring in Mike Boone, man. This is a guy that's – he's sitting there chomping at the bit. Oh, absolutely. Realistically, yeah. what are the – I'm sure the chances of uh, Melvin Gordon getting hurt or what, maybe 50-50. This guy has a track record of not staying healthy. Not just staying healthy, but several knee injuries. And uh, right. in December of last year, a shoulder injury. So, in the deep mean, fly. Hey, I can drink all I want on a podcast, but I'm not going out and getting in a car when I'm a millionaire. Drink it. Wait a minute. Coors Light. We're talking Denver. 
Blue mountains are blue. Okay. Anyways, dude. So Mike Boone, Melvin Gordon, we all play Dynasty. You got to get hit us. We're going into the trade season. Give me some trade value for Mike Boone. He might be on waivers, but in Dynasty, it's a deep bench. So as far as backup running backs, handcuff-wise, how high do you have him? Do you have him over Pollard? Do you have him over Madison? Where do you have him as far of a backup ranking? And then as well as trade capital, are you willing to make a call to the, you know, the general manager in your league and offer a second, a third, a fourth? What are you offering? Well, first of all, I'm going to start off by saying if people have been listening to me, they wouldn't have to give up anything in the trade. They already have him. Uh, I spent at the end of every single season, even if I even if I didn't have Mike Boone on my roster all season, I went out and got him before the end of the season. I knew I was going to have him on, the, on my bench at the start of the next season. Uh, as soon as he shows up in preseason, which he will, everybody's going to be out to get him again. I feel like his value is higher than it's ever been right now. Um, now, as far as what I'm going to give up to give him, honestly, I'll, I'm going to come out and, and say right now, I don't think he's going to come out week one, you know, pedal to the metal. Right. I don't think he's going to come out week one as the you know, unquestioned starter. So I think once people see that, they are automatically out on people like Mike. So Boone. you wait on it a little bit. Absolutely. And I, I'm not going to give up a lot to get him now, especially this year in Superflex. I'm not going to give up a whole lot to get him with all the quarterbacks out there right now. I feel like uh, there's a lot of value in Superflex around the third and fourth round. I would give up a fourth round uh, personally for him. But uh, other than that, I'm waiting. And uh, as far as rankings, I'm going to absolutely put him above Madison. I think Madison's have several opportunities to show us what he can do. I, and I don't think, you know, he's going to ever take that step up. Now, as far as Pollard, I think Pollard might be slowly taking a 50, 50 role with uh, Ezekiel Elliott, but uh, so I, I'm definitely going to put him above Madison, but not above Pollard. Look at you already getting the love from the boys. <laughs> 22, man, you got third and short. Look at this VIP list. Bringing in the big dogs, dude. Mike, we do love you. Um, more trade talk, Kev. Thanks for watching, dude. We love you. Um, I'm a, I'm a Mike. I'm believing now. You got me. You got the sauces going. I'm one of those that want to make a move. I don't want to wait till training camp when Melvin Gordon gets hurt or say it, he gets another DUI. Future third. I'm. I want to. I'm going to offer a 2022 third. Do you think that's enough to get it done? Absolutely. I would give up a future third and a second. I think uh, thirds are so easy to get throughout the season. There's so many yeah. people that absolutely consider themselves contenders. You can ask for a third as a throw in in a trade and they're going to do it because they don't really value it until we get to the off season. So I would give up a future third right now because it's so easy to get back. I wouldn't give up a current third. I'd maybe give up a late third for this year for Boone, um, especially if you're you know, really low on running back this year. I think yeah. Mike Boone can he can more than return that value. 25-year-old running back with barely any wear and tear, great pass blocker, great pass catcher, can run between the, the lanes. This guy, he has that upside. Like I said, 25, it is dynasty, so you got to you gotta play your cards right, but this is what we're doing. We're checking the value. We're getting making sure you don't forget on third and short, you might just want a little Mike Boone. Dude, Mike. <laughs> We did it. Quick hitters. Third round value. You can wait or you can offer a future pick. Mike, thanks for coming on, baby. Any Thank last you so much closing for words? Where can they find you? Tell them everything you're knocking out these days. Now you can find me at third and short on Twitter, short with two T's. Uh, you can also find me at IBT underscore media. They're doing great work. Check them out. I uh, hope to be writing more articles and being on uh, more podcasts in the future. And you can also catch my graphic design and video editing. Boom. Third and short, Mike Boone, we knocked it out. That's your dynasty fantasy value. That's your quick hitters from the fantasy affair, foot fantasy football. I am the Maddie Daddy. It's been my pleasure, my treasure. Let's get out of here. Goodbye and good night.